वॉच अवेलेबल थ्री ईयर एंड वेलकम बैक इन अदर प्रोजेक्ट ओवर व्यू सो बेसिकली दिस इज माई पर्सनल प्रोजेक्ट एंड यू नो वेन वी मेक और सेल्फ क्रिएशन और समथिंग लाइक कॉन्सेप्ट आर्ट सो इट्स टेक्स अ लॉट टाइम फॉर मेकिंग बिकॉज वी आल्सो डोंट नो वेर वी आर गोइंग वी जस्ट हैव वन पॉइंट इन आवर माइंड एंड वी जस्ट स्टार्ट मेकिंग द थिंग so in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can create this really awesome night city scene so let's get started so i am inside element 3d scene setup i will show you how i set up all things and after that i will show you some of the lighting and render settings which i did for the project and final touches which gives our scene more beautiful look so let's get started so here i am not going to create step by step but i will tell you step by step what i did and how i achieve that realistic good looking result in the end of the tutorial so stay tuned till the end and don't miss the steps what i did right i actually i don't want to say right and for this here so here is a plane which is something like landscape for base for ground for surface so i will provide a link you can download it from my video description so you can follow along with the tutorial so so i set up the plane so here are few plane 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 something like that according to your camera angles so this is in a group 1 and here is a grass you can see i change the grass color the grass is from the started fact physical which age comes with element 3d you can see which comes in with element 3d and i just change the color of the grass with the diffuse section by default it's green and i change it to the pink or something like orange little bit and i also used Let me switch to the S triple S subsurface scattering by default is zero. So you can see I just change it, and this is in a group two by the way. In a group number three, there is a tree which I used from the magnet tree model pack. I will also put the link. I apply the same thing. I just go to the leaf. and i change the diffuse color by default it's green but i change it to the pink to make our scene little bit different so for group 1 our surface group 2 is a uh, our grass model in a group 3 is our tree model and in a group 4 we have a city model which is from the metropolitan so by the way if you did not see in my tips and tricks video of element 3d you can check the link in my video description and i will also put this in here so I, you can just click on this i button and just you can check it i have also some really beautiful and great tutorials related to element 3d so you can watch that and improve your knowledge about element 3d this is a great plugin for after effect and i love it so let's go out of the scene set of element 3d so when your scene is okay and you set up all things in a separate groups hit okay right so by default it's blank because i just sort of everything so let me show you one by one so this is a group of one and i just set up the camera here and the scene is glowing just because i i let me sort of the glow so by default it will look like this and you have to adjust your camera angle what angle you want so group 1 our surface let me show you the custom view so you can see it so this is a group 1 and i just set up the scene let me go to the active camera and now let's jump into the group 2 and you know the group 2 is our grass layer so i just replicated in the 3d grid and i choose in a x 15 copies and g in a 53 and i just place it and make it something like this you can see and in the group 3 there is i think three models 
and for the tree I also did the same thing particle replicator 3d grid and 4x4 four four, and I just scale with the shape scale and I adjust it like this and the group 4 we don't have anything in group 4 so in a group 5 we have metropolitan cities or you can say it homes or buildings like that so we will enable it but before let me switch off the tree so we can see it properly so let's enable it you can see it looks good let's enable group 3 so now this is our scene and you did a great job let's clap for yourself so let's move on the next step and here is I change little bit of environment setting so by default it's 1 and 1 and lightning influence is by default 25 or 35 something like that but I change it to the 80 and here is the option for show in background it's mean your environment will show in background so just click OK because I want a background behind my all the city surface and tree and you can change it according to this let's close it now let's jump on the shadow but make sure you have a lights because shadow will work when you have a light so in my scene I set up few things and I am using shadow mapping not ray trace shadow just because when I switch back to the ray tracing my system stopped working that's why I, I am working with the shadow mapping and one more thing here is the parallel lighting setup by default it's uh, one th around 1000 right so it will look like this but when you will increase it it will cover few of the area but if your graphics card support ray tracing you can just enable it but I don't know why my graphics card not supporting this but if you have a shadow it will look more good so let me switch it to the composite you can see and I change the lightning color to like this so let's move on to the ambient occlusion and let me switch the render mode again into the ambient occlusion so we can see what's coming so let's enable it so you can see I'm also not going to choose ray tracing here because again my system start stopped working but here is few setting you can change it and get a good result as well as inside SSAO so enable it and let's change the output to the composite so you can see let me before and after you can see looks good and now let's go to the fog and enable the fog and here is a my setting for the fog so now it's looking good and for the glow let me enable the glow looks good to me and here are a few of the my settings so all done and for render setting you can increase the super sampling multi sampling and the sampling and aliasing too so everything is done inside element 3d now let me show you what how I created that light rays behind all the city and all the trees so this is the our light source so this is the source so this is the source actually right this is the source and basically this is just a simple layer or to shift edge and I just mask them or I just go to new solid setting and I just created a width 100 pixel and height 600 pixel and when you created this you can just place it somewhere around the scene where you want to make your light source and then I just applied a light rays and which is basically a CC radial fast blur and the amount you can choose it and I choose to the standard and let's enable the CC and I applied a course layer on here and I just make few things and one more composite layer here so let me see which things we missed maybe <coughs> 
so i am going to set down the glow here actually so in the end our scene is here so i just take a screenshot here you can see let me show you one by one again here and i just type a letter i mean the title for our scene and then i just make a course layer and apply few of the my settings here you can see and then i did the same thing and in the end you can see the result is looking much better to the previous one you can see and here is two source layer you can it depends on you what you prefer you can see you can just scale down it little bit if you want and it's all procedural everything is done and i hope you got the idea how i created this awesome stuff inside element 3d with the some few of the model packs and i will put the link so you can get that models from there and you can also create these types of awesome city so make sure if you post something around i mean on instagram you can just tag hashtag nps3d so i can see your work and thanks for tuning me till the end of the video for watching my video thanks for loving me thanks for supporting me i am nps3d and we will see you next time with a great tutorial that's it for now